I'm going to narrate some of the answers, or the answers to all the questions we did in class, an explanation of all these questions. I'm going to separate this, all of this into several videos because this is going to take a while. I'll try to see, um, I'll try to, you know, get through them uh, tonight. I'll probably might need until tomorrow, Wednesday night. So let's start with our basic principles. This is uh, stuff in chapter one. We didn't know a lot, of, a lot of questions here, but the questions sometimes are kind of confusing. The first one we did in class is for your last birthday, your parents gave you a used car for which they pay the fair market value of 10,000. If you remember this question, the, the key here to answer this question is that you understand the idea of opportunity cost. And the answer to this question is B, because the opportunity cost is the value of the best alternative. And you have, your parents gave you a car for 10,000, now they give it to you as a, a free, but you could sell it to someone, and you could sell it to someone for the market value of the car. So you have two options, either keep the car, uh, sell the car and make $10,000, or keep the car and use it, in which case you're, you're forfeiting the $10,000 you can make. Uh, common mistakes that students make in this question is to go for A, zero, remember that nothing is free. Um, if you keep in the car, even though the car was keep, was given to you as a gift, you are forfeiting the opportunity cost of selling to someone else. Uh, some people go for 18,000 because that is the model that you wanted, but since that model was not available to you, that could not be a cost because you could never, that was not an option for you before. So the opportunity cost is the option, the best alternative that you have. The second question also has to do with opportunity cost, and this is just to remember that you can only do one thing at a time, so therefore the opportunity cost of doing option A is whatever other option you wouldn't, you wouldn't have been able to do. This one here, you have three options. You can either wash the car, you can either uh, work for $30, or you can go out with your friend. And in this question, they are asking you what is the opportunity cost of going out with your friend. Remember, you can only do one of the three things, not, not the three things at the same time. And if you do one thing, going out with your friend, then you're going to forfeit only one of the other two alternatives because there was no way you could do the two other things at the same time. So the opportunity cost of going out with your friend is going to be whatever else you would, you would do if you don't go out with your friend, and that will be your best alternative. So it has to be the one of the other two alternatives, which is washing the car or going out to work, whichever one gives you the most value. And since you are willing to pay $50 to someone, that's, that's the value of the improvement to your car appearance, then that's the best alternative for you that you will do if you don't go out with your friend. So therefore, if you go out with your friend, you're giving up washing the car, which you would do rather than working, and that's $50. So the answer to this question is D, $50. Okay, so the next chapter is supply and demand. We'll start that one with a different video.